embarked on this mission leadership journey because we recognized that we're not very good at execution. We've got a good strategy. I believe our strategy is sound, but the execution was just not happening or coming through. We started off uh, in December with setting goals and cascading it. The team at the time was certainly trying to understand and taking a while to get to grips with it. But we've seen over the year that improving significantly. We have every month gone back to review the actions, tackled each other, questioned each other and whether we are supporting each other appropriately as we had committed at the beginning of the year. On a quarterly basis, we've had a much bigger one, much bigger engagement. I think one of the key benefits of this is the trust levels. The trust levels improve significantly because we are talking actions, we're not tackling people, and we are collaborating a lot more in achieving our, our objectives. So I think we've really, really developed in terms of our execution capability over the last year. We can see the businesses that have implemented it a lot better. The results are telling. So, so mission leadership has actually worked for us. So last year we started the process and we kept it at the leadership level, what we call our top 25 leaders. And then we've seen the progress we've made with that. Now this year we want to now cascade it to the next level of leadership. There are some teams that had already started this, as, as I said earlier, but I think we need to embed the core principles of mission leadership within the next level. Who then can cascade it further down? But I think the learnings from last year have been powerful and will be very useful to the next line of leaders in the group. We have moved from building the foundations of the business. We have been focusing on growing the business, but we now want to transform the business. And there's no better tool than mission leadership to actually get the transformation going.